guys, it's Bastion time. So our first story is about a Kickstarter project called Maki Maki. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Makey Makey, but since it's about keys, I'm pretty sure it's probably Makey... I guess Makey Makey would work too. I don't know. Anyways, the point is... Uh, what it is, is this bizarre device that allows you to basically create controllers or keyboards or any kind of device, basically, out of anything. Um, so, for instance, they went ahead and created a controller that lets you play the original Super Mario Bros. Um, out of Play-Doh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, they did a Dance Dance Revolution sort of thing by creating controllers out of buckets, uh, these tubs of water that the guy had to step in. Um, pretty interesting video. Uh, looks like that'd be a lot of fun. Um, so definitely stay tuned to Maki Maki uh, and maybe even join in that Kickstarter and uh, get your hands on one of those. Our next story is about a Wii U patent that was recently unearthed, and basically what this patent shows is something that's kind of interesting. Now, um, when these patents are filed, they don't talk about specific games that will be developed. So this is just an example, and how it will eventually be used is probably completely different. But what it describes is basically showing how a Wii U controller, a Wii remote, uh, probably with you know Wii Motion Plus, and then your television screen will all three interact together. And what it kind of shows is that it gives an example of uh, if there's like a space alien that's over here on your television screen and your opponent is uh, going to capture that space alien, what you can then do is use your Wii remote to uh, grab that character and fling it over onto your friend's uh, Wii U tablet sort of style controller. Um, now obviously that's not how they're going to use it, but what it does is it provides a sort of insight as to how they're going to really utilize these two separate windows into the gaming experience. You know, basically there will be things that you can only see over here on your Wii U controller, and then things that you can only see on the television, and you'll be in the middle being able to control between the two. Um, so, I mean, I'm not a Wii U developer. I can't really uh, sort of guess at what they're going to decide how they're going to use that, but um, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Speaking of patents, our next uh, story is about a 3DS patent, and what this shows is possibly going to be a redesign of the 3DS already. Um, it shows that uh, they have a patent for a new um, circle pad, and the circle pad looks an awful lot like the GameCube uh, analog controller. It has those ridge things on it. Um, I didn't realize that there was a problem. Uh, when I played with the circle pad, I didn't have an issue of sliding it around accidentally or anything, but I suppose those ridges are a good idea. Um, so I guess all I can say about that is they're just improving on something that's already working, and that's fine. And they'll probably make some other changes as well, but it's definitely interesting to see that they're already planning the redesign of the 3DS. So no word yet, of course, on when that redesign might be available, or even if this is actually one of the things that will be included in it, but they have a patent for it, so that's pretty indicative of something. And speaking of the 3DS, in Japan, they're going to be phasing out the Aqua Blue uh, version. I'm not really sure why, that's a pretty good color, um, but they have brought some new uh, colors out there over in Japan and elsewhere. So as far as the US and elsewhere in the world, um, a fan did send uh, Nintendo of America a question asking, you know, is this also going to be happening in America? Uh, or North America in general, and of course all Nintendo of America can say is we don't really have anything to say about that at this time. So, you know, that's their usual comment for anything that they don't feel it's time to announce or they don't know the answer to. So we'll just have to wait and see uh, if they're going to phase that out over here as well. 
Our next story is uh, just a rumor, and it concerns the Wii U. And basically what it says is that there will be 512 megabytes of cloud storage for each Wii U user. That's pretty interesting because I guess that probably means that a lot of your um, save files or, or maybe various apps that you'll be downloading onto your Wii U will be stored elsewhere, not actually on the Wii U itself. Um, it's a pretty good move on Nintendo's part if that turns out to be true. And then our final story is another Wii U rumor. Um, actually, it's a set of various Wii U rumors. It's quite a list of Wii U rumors. I'll just touch on some of the more interesting ones to me. One of them says that a redesigned Zapper and Classic Controller are being prepared. Uh, that's kind of interesting. And uh, the next one says that Retro's uh, project will be shown at E3 in 2012 and that it is massive. Um, well, we do know that Retro has been working on a huge uh, game and that that's probably for the Wii U and that they've been hiring people like crazy and um, so really looking forward to see what this massive project is that they have in store for us at E3. The next one says that the Wii U camera may be upgraded to 7 megapixels, so that's pretty cool. Also that voice chat is up and running. Um, and then that uh, there are lots of Wii U 3DS software at Nintendo's E3 2012 booth. So, pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to E3 this year. I think we're going to get a lot of great announcements. I uh, can't wait for it. That's going to be in early June. So that's it for this week in Nintendo news. Um, be sure to check out Temple Quest. I know I keep harping on this, but it's a lot of fun. There are prizes to be had. You'll enjoy it, it's Zelda related. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, how else are you going to know when I have a new video out? See you guys, bye. And it's quite a list, so let's uh, run down them one by one. It says that the Wii U, okay, that's not interesting. They have not said what it's about, but they've been hiring people uh, by the bucket loads. But bucket waves? <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just imagining, like, <laughs> disgusting, gruesome, grisly people, body parts, and buckets being hired. Doesn't make any sense. Let's move on. Let's try that one again. <laughs>